Hey guys, welcome to DG Gaming Tips, and we're continuing our drive through on the mission challenges. And this week we're covering stage three. <laughs> All right. I said one and two. So we're 25% of the way done on the mission challenges, all gold so far, and hey, I've been meaning to give you this micro tip for a while. When finishing a race and go back to the menu screen, rather than pressing right, 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 and then exit, you can just press circle and exit. Can't believe how many years I've been pressing right, right, right. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get started on these stage three missions, and there's some pretty solid driving needed to get good times on these ones, but uh, if you make use of all the tips and practice from the lessons and the missions so far, you should find it pretty easy to get easy golds. Stage three, mission one, track autopilot. I think you must be an expert on this course by now if you've followed all the driving lessons and mission challenges up to this point. This Ford Mustang drives really nicely on this track and has a nice mix of torque and grip in order to drive hard and you shouldn't have any problem getting an easy goal on this one. And as usual I'll be dropping the traction control setting down on all of these tracks in order to allow me to do a bit of wheel spin out of corners but not being too crazy in terms of oversteer and understeer. Hopefully you recall from my video of lesson 13 that the fastest way to take this corner with a high powered car is to get out wide, hit the apex and then get out wide again. Even if it does mean going into the sand a little bit with the car placement on this race. I feel sorry for those little cones in this game, they do get a bit of a hammering, especially from me. Stage 3, Mission 2, another Mustang. If you watched the last of my driving lessons videos, you hopefully got the message that going sideways in these rally stages is bad. The way they've done the physics in this game is such that you don't kill off much speed by going sideways. So brake straight to kill off all the needed speed, go around the corner slowly, and then hard accelerate out straight in order to get going again. Stage 3, Mission 3, Honda Sports VGT around the short Suzuka Circuit East Course. This car handles a little bit weird compared to the other cars that you've been used to. My tip for this one is to embrace the power understeer. 
To get a fast time, you need to combine power and acceptance of understeer as you accelerate out of the corners. Otherwise, you end up just wallowing around and wasting time. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you learn the trick, this car can be quite fast around this circuit. Stage 3, Mission 4, Dodge SRT Toma Toma Missile. Holy moly, this car is unbelievable. I think the experience is more akin to playing a game of Wipeout than it is driving a car. It takes a few practice runs to realise that the damn thing corners on rails, and I do mean that literally. You can take an unbelievable amount of speed into the corners and somehow it gets round. So the art of this mission is to put your trust in those wide tyres and corner at a ballistic pace.
Stage 3 Mission 5, Nissan GTR on a section of the Nürburgring. This is a similar challenge as we saw in Lesson 31, but this Nissan GTR doesn't have anywhere near as much grip on the corners as that Ferrari 458 did. So treat the corners with a little bit more respect, and the key to getting above the 186 mile an hour gold medal time is to make sure you get out of the way of the Bugatti Veyron as it comes past, and then get back in again and slipstream it all the way to the finish. Stage 3 Mission 6, a garage car event around the reverse of the Dragon Trail. I started out practicing this track with a Ford Mustang that was gifted to me in an earlier lesson, but if you buy a BMW M4 it's got more power and you'll be able to get a faster track time. You can switch the TCS down to 1 if you know how to handle fairly manageable oversteer, and it's a little bit of a handful, but it does enable you to get a good time.
I guess the problem with modern day racing objectives is that the cornering can be a bit boring where the objective is to get round it as tight and clean as possible. And Formula 1's the epitome of that. So I've done a bit of a replay mashup of a different way of taking this course, getting the back end out. Stage 3 Mission 7, another garage car event on Lago Maggiore. I've picked the McLaren 650S GT3 from my garage and it drives like an absolute dream. So to put in a good time you can drive it pretty hard and just make sure you're going from cone to cone to cone on nice tight cornering.
finally, stage three, mission eight, with the Subaru WRX Group B rally car on the Sardinia windmills course. Follow all previous rally car stage advice, and in short, that means brake hard in a straight line, take the corner slowly, and then accelerate out hard in a straight line. There we have it guys, a drive through, some tips and some fast times on the eight missions of stage three. Give me a like if that was useful or entertaining and consider subscribing if you want to be notified about more of my new videos coming soon. Until next time folks, happy racing!